Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 2. Today is episode number 21. If you guys do enjoy the content, then be sure to leave a like, as it really does help with the YouTube algorithm at the moment. Feel free to subscribe, drop a follow on Twitch, and hopefully you enjoy the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. Alright, yo, we are here for the Rallycross face-off. Uh, we're taking the Sparco Evo 8 for this one. Starting off with Sunset Peninsula infield. Moving on to Suzuka Circuit West. Uh, Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca and finishing off with Sakuba Long. Let's get going. Right, time to try this again for the second time. Oh, I forgot to delete the last clip. I'm doing this one-handed. I am a genius. I don't recommend doing this one-handed. But... Oh, we're doing it! Oh, I've messed this up big time. Never mind. Just got away with it. It's in the check. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, God. Just you and I tonight. This is not too bad, actually, this song. My driving, on the other hand, fucking atrocious. Ah! I was not paying attention. <laughs> I've lost half of me core. Before you get in, you're too lazy to get in, but after you're there, you unknowingly spend an hour doing nothing but sitting or standing as hot, steamy water pours down on your back. Agreed. Hang on, how can you be too lazy to get in the shower beforehand? I'm always buzzing to get in the shower. I'm also buzzing to get out of it as well. And we can make it better. Not bad. Buzzing, as in like buzz buzz. As in, like, excited. Yeah, we completely cocked that entire corner up. Let's try and uh, not fuck this up. Childhood ends when adventures start costing money. Yeah. yeah, fair enough. Hmm. 
the thing is though, right, I don't understand why people will always say stuff like, oh, money can't buy you happiness, and money this, money that, money can't do this, and it's like, mm, I hate to break it to you, but money is what makes the world run nowadays. So, uh, unfortunately... If I had enough money coming out of my ass that I didn't have to worry about stuff, then that's my happiness there. That's one less worry. I can then focus on actually making myself happy. Whether that be with the use of money or stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. Like, money is the root of happiness. Guaranteed. Because it's a major part of life that once you are stable with it, you don't have to worry about it. Right? See, for me, I'm I'm more than capable of going out and finding work. The only problem is... And now, uh, by this point, the fact that I've just said, oh, I'm perfectly capable, everyone within the government will think, yeah, you're fine, get on with it. There's one drawback, is the fact that I cannot work in a place that is going to bore the living hell out of me. Because otherwise I just get bored and I sidetrack. Like... You think, in school, right, when there were lessons that I was interested in, best behaved, right? Now, it's exactly the same, right? As Any lesson in school that I'm not interested in, I was misbehaved. I was bored. I was all that stuff. Uh, I can't really do part-times. I, I want the security of having, like, a stable wage, especially in our, you know, financial situation in this country. It's fucked. If I'm not earning at least two grand a month, I'm pretty much broke. Like, that's genuinely what this fucking country is to come to. It's ridiculous. you got to be earning about £2,000 a month to be able to even think of moving out. So if I'm not earning £9.50 an hour... 40 hours a week as a minimum I'm fucked yeah the thing is I've got an ADHD brain so um, I get sidetracked easily and because I'm bored I need to f the thing is with an ADHD brain right I would have much rather me had an ADD brain because if I got bored of something I would be just bored, and I would just zone out. I wouldn't focus on it. But an ADHD brain does the exact same thing, but then the brain wants to do something, because it always wants to be doing something. So by that point, I've got to do something else to fill that boredom in. And the thing is, if I do that in a place of work, holy shit, am I going to lose my job quicker than fucking anything? Why haven't you done your work today? Because I got fucking bored. And my brain decided it wanted to do something else. Alright, you're fired. You know. It's probably why I lost a job at the last place, to be honest. Because I couldn't meet their quota. They wanted me to do, what? 80 parking fines a day. I struggled to get 30 done. So, you know. So that's probably why they let me go there. Right, here we go. I think this is Suzuka. Not bad. But yeah, our, go our government is just so fucked up that you... So I used to be on um, DLA, which for anyone who doesn't know what that is, if they're not from the UK or anything, it's basically the shortened down version of um, disability living allowance. It's basically a li sh little payment for people who aren't disabled, who can't work, and stuff like that. Um, and it helps dramatically. 
Uh, the only problem with that is once you hit, I think, 16 or 18, it changes to personal independence payments or pips. Right? So I had to do a questionnaire thing for um, this pip thing. And what's really bad about it is it's basically based off of physical disability only. Clearly. So I'm capable of cooking a simple meal that I know I've cooked before a million times. So that in their eyes is can cook. Which I mean is fair enough if you if your definition of can cook is cooking fucking chicken nuggets every night for dinner for the next 20, 30, 40, 50 years of your life. I mean, yeah. If you're willing to cook 50 years worth of chicken nuggets and have that for dinner, breakfast, lunch, and dinner for every day of your life, then by all means, you can say that you can cook, and then you can mark that down as saying, can cook. But I know for a fact that woman that did my interview thing was like, mm, can cook, but probably knows how, how to actually cook. <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous. And then also, if you can walk, like, on your own for more than two steps without needing a hand from someone you can walk and you can walk perfectly fine even if you hobble and limp around that's still classed as walking according to them and it's ridiculous and honestly it's such a fucked up system and then I'm currently sat here trying like looking for job roles but I've I'm looking through them and none of them appeal. There are roles there, but the problem is, if I'm not interested in something, I'm going to move on to something else. And the fact is, I'm not willing to go through working for two months for an employer to go around and say, you haven't met our targets, we're gonna have to let you go. And then it'll be another few months before I find somewhere else. Because it'll be the same story again. And then I'll go to that employer. And guess what? That employer will also say, you haven't met our quota. Like genuinely, there is nothing out there at the moment. And the thing is, I dropped out of college because college was shit. It was extremely difficult for what actually was needed of me. Like, I dropped out of A-level maths. That shit was fucking ridiculous. Cybersecurity. Our teacher was an absolute knobhead. To the point he didn't actually teach. So. You could theoretically beat a werewolf to death with a Nokia. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. See if we can beat a werewolf to death. So yeah, for me right now, I mean, I'm getting by, but by no means am I financially stable. I never will be. Because I'm going to be getting jobs and losing jobs like that. Because the problem with having ADHD and autism, it makes it extremely difficult when it comes to one, new situations, that's always going to be a challenge. Two, going out of my comfort zone, going to avoid that at all costs. Three, keeping my focus, because I'll get easily sidetracked. And when I do get sidetracked, can't get back on track with my work, lose my job, depression, cycles all the way through over and over again. And no matter how many times I explain this to people that I find it challenging to stay focused on a task. Hell, you you look at how long it takes me. I mean, I can sit here and I can do this perfectly fine. But the difference is, right, a Forza race lasts 5-10 minutes. And then it's a new race, a new task, doing something different. If you were to ask me to do an endurance race for more than an hour, I'm done. I can't do it. 
Even if you ask me to do an hour now, take a five minute break, do an hour later, another five minute break, my brain will still eventually get bored. Like, I've done t 10 hour endurance races on PlayStation, but I've had to do it in a 12 hour stream because I've struggled so much to actually do 10 hours in one go. And that's the ADHD brain. It is shocking. And that's just how my brain works. But no, no matter how I try and explain it, nobody, unless you have ADHD, will ever understand. Nobody will understand. It's impossible to explain. Because a normal brain will just be like, yeah, just focus. Say focus on the task, no problem. Yeah, it's, it's not the same for us. ADHD people. Not at all. That's why I enjoyed Twitch streaming. And I would love for this to become a career for me. Because if this could become a career... It means I don't have to worry about that shit, you know? It'd be fucking amazing. Twitch streamer, YouTuber, everything. And we get to talk about real world problems here. <laughs> like how fucked governments are. Uh, yeah, I probably shouldn't say that. I might get cancelled by my own government. Let's be honest. <laughs> Actually, no, it's fine. I live in the UK. We can say whatever the fuck we want. All right, here we go. Laguna Seca. Let's get going. Mini, 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 mini. And we're off. Bloody hell, this thing is fast. Once we're done with this game, though, we can move on to Motorsport 3. Very excited to start that. Honestly, once I've done Motorsport 3 and Motorsport 4, I don't even know what I'll do after that. Well, obviously, I'll carry on with the rest of the games. Duh. But, like, genuinely, I don't think the rest of the series, other than Horizon 2, Horizon 3, Horizon 2 and Horizon 3, sorry. Other than those, I don't think I'd be excited for many other games. Because the rest of the Motorsport series is pretty much... So, but surprisingly, for my first ever playthrough, because I've never played this game at all, other than the 12 hour stream we did before we started recording this, never really played Forza Motorsport 2. And I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Like, it's, it's a much more enjoyable game than Motorsport 1. Yeah, exactly. Like, trying to explain to a non-driver why every driver will go into neutral and then shift it side to side, like, three or four times, even though they know it's in neutral. Trying to explain that to a driver? It's ridiculous. It's never gonna work. Even we don't know how it works sometimes. She's nothing like a girl you've ever seen before. Nothing you can compare to your neighborhood for. Cheers, Pandy. <laughs> that was all that words just brought to mind was that song. I try to find the words to describe this girl without being disrespectful. What a tune. <laughs> You're welcome, dolls. That's such a northerner phrase. <laughs> Down south, we call them darling. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Ouch. Poor Fallen. Be 
bam, boom, bam, boom, bam, 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 bam. Well, duh. I get a hi. Not bad. Trying to find a word. Seth Holden is immortal. No, he's not actually. He's been killed four or five times, but every time he's been killed and he's noticed, he's always cheered at least like 5k bits. Which is like $50. Every single time. And he'll be like, yep, yeah, give me that back. And he'll take it back for another two months. Fact is, this now, what he's got at the moment, is the highest he's ever been at. 23,000 health points. Which is mental. Na, 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 na. He's microtransaction cheats then. <laughs> I mean, technically speaking, that's what the simp boss is. For people who simp. Because the only way you can heal yourself and, like, be simp boss is by paying money. That's kind of the point of the simp boss. <laughs> yeah, he dropped 25k in the 24 hour. The first 24 hour, like, a month and a bit ago. Fuck. So if he's lost, like, 1.5k in a month and a bit... It's going to take about two years before he dies naturally, just based off of how it's been going. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, uh, here's the time I mentioned. If you've got Twitch Prime, you can sub for free. <laughs> it supports the channel and you get to punch the fuck out of Sir Fallen. <laughs> oh, and if you're on YouTube as well, any of that stuff over there also applies to uh, the simp boss over here as well. I still need to work out a way to link uh, Mix It Up Bot to YouTube chat. But I think I've got to sign in as like a new streamer, but for YouTube. He was at 29k, was he? Well, the main subathon was the one where he dropped 25k. So, ah! I've hit the wall. Thank you for the posture check. Cheers, Pandy. Bing, 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 I think what I might do, I might add a channel point redemption for a colossal attack. Um, but it will cost like... I don't know, 10k? And you can like, attack up to 1000 HP. So basically 10 times what the 1000 one is. I'm gonna go watch Lucifer's, it's more entertaining. Oh wow. Lucifer's not entertaining, let's be honest. <laughs> Stop kidding yourself. 
Bing, 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 bing. There we go, not bad. Woohoo! I'll take my rewards. 17k. Result. Sorry for anyone who's a flat earther. It's not flat! <laughs> Yeah. Anyways, on a lighter note, did anyone see that car? That got that 39.13 second um, Goodwood Festival of Speed world record on the Goodwood Hill Climb. That was fucking crazy. <laughs> Stop fighting me. No. No. If you are wrong... You are wrong. <laughs> Ella melons. Joe, you know I really want to see someone invent an earth melon, a fire melon, and an air melon. So the one thing I'm also confused about, so you've got watermelons, right? But they're not actually made out... They're not like... Well, they're a majority water. But like... The actual thing is just red. It's not like water coloured. It's just red. Like, why is it red? Explain yourself, watermelon. What? Did my camera mess up then? Because I swear my light just turned off on my webcam and then turned back on. Maybe that was just me being blind. <laughs> tomato melon. It's tomato. Okay, the one thing I cannot stand eating is tomatoes. Right? I know people absolutely love tomatoes. By all means, if you love tomatoes, go at them. But, but, and here's a big but, why the hell are tomatoes so watery? Like, tomato ketchup is fine. I don't have a problem with tomato ketchups because it's not watery. Unless, like, it's left on the side and you don't shake it, then it becomes watery. But, anyways... Honestly, tomato, like even tomato puree and tomato paste and stuff like that is nice because they just mush it into a paste. But like actual tomatoes, when you bite into them, it's like... You just call it tomato ketchup. The name is ketchup. No. It's tomato ketchup. Because it's got tomatoes in it. Because there's different types of ketchup. That's why it's called tomato ketchup. Otherwise, why don't we just call brown sauce sauce or mayonnaise? <laughs> Heinz ketchup. What? Well, yeah, it's called Heinz ketchup. Because Heinz like to shorten everything down. They're just like, we got ketchup. We got mayo. We got shit. <laughs> I don't know. 
Ah, uh, do you want to know what I do like from Heinz? They've got a sauce called Saucy Sauce. And basically what it is, it's a bottle filled halfway up with mayonnaise and halfway up with ketchup. And then mixed together perfectly in the perfect ratio. And I love it. Because I love mixing ketchup and mayonnaise. It's, it's a really weird thing. I, I know people are like, what? Ketchup and mayo is fucking lit. End of argument. A lot of sauces mixed together can be pretty good. Same as mayonnaise and barbecue. It's basically just ketchup but with a smokier flavor because that's what barbecue is. It's just tomato ketchup with a smoky flavor. Mustard. Mustard and mayo with a drop of ketchup. Fucking amazing. It's like burger sauce. There's some good sauce combinations out there. <laughs> now you lost some views. How? I'm not a fan of Ford Mustard. <laughs> Introducing the all new Ford Mustard. <laughs> yeah, that's what they should have called the marquee. They should have called it the Ford Mustard. Oh, and another thing I don't like normal mustard. Don't know why, just can't eat it. American style mustard, on the other hand, is the only mustard I will eat. Because it's fucking amazing. Do you have hamburger dressing? Is that PC just fucking ketchup, mayo, and mustard? Oh, I thought that was the last lap, to be honest. I surrender, I surrender, I surrender. With a white flag. I surrender. I surrender. I surrender. I surrender. I don't think I'm ever going to run out of fuel in the endurance races. Look in Discord. Alright, hang on then. Let me finish this off. Woohoo! Right, result. Slaving game data. Slaving game data. Lovely. I'm gonna take my rewards. We've got some Z06 models. Bit too late for that though. Oh no. We got a Mines Evo 6 and 26 grand. Cute white car with blue writing on it. Lovely. Not gonna lie though, that's beautiful. I'm gonna be totally honest, I like that. I'm very happy with that car. Very happy with that. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out. <laughs>